A lot of memorabilia over a lot of years, uh, a lot to do with my committee assignments, but this is one that was particularly important to me because back in 2005, when we had just begun the war against terrorism, really, uh, I was on a trip to the Afghan-Pakistan border. I was on a Black Hawk helicopter uh, going into one of our forward operating bases, and we got a radio from the base that they came under attack and that we couldn't land. So uh, the officer in charge on the helicopter said, listen, we can't go there, but there's another base we can go to. They're not expecting you, but um, you, can, you can go there. So I said, yes, absolutely. So we go up to this base. We're on the Afghan-Pakistan border, very remote area. Uh, they had not had a member of Congress visit them, I think, ever. They were very excited. I was there for quite a bit of time. They're showing me around and the commanding officer when I was leaving said, we're so happy that we could tell you our story and show you our commitment to this war on terror. We normally would have something to present to you, but we didn't know you were coming. So they put this flag in this envelope and handed it to me. And it's one of the most special things I've been ever given by a special forces unit who just were so motivating and all the other good stuff. Um, all of the trips, uh, challenge coins are mostly military, but each unit is very proud. I had them all in a desk drawer. And a little while back, I said, this is pretty unique. I need to do something about it. So the, all the challenge coins are from all the units and all the countries I've been to. The Twin Towers, that photo was taken in the early morning hours of September 11th when our Coast Guard air station was commissioned to take pictures over New York and of the Twin Towers. A couple of hours later, those towers came down. Pretty vivid reminder for me. Our 177th routinely deploys with the full Air Force into the war theater, and they were deployed into the war, and all the pilots and the crew signed a picture with a copy of the, the the jets that were doing their mission. We talked about I'm a really big dog person. Uh, I've come across some incredible war dogs. Uh, Lex was one of them. I named my dog after him. He had an incredible story. Um, Toby was another one. I go into this forward operating base in the middle of nowhere and I see all these signs about Toby this and Toby that. I said, boy, Toby must have been a hell of a soldier. So no, Toby was a hell of a soldier. He was a dog. He followed a command to the nth degree with his handler, a Special Forces um, Navy SEAL. One particular day he did not. Uh, the SEAL was initially upset, realized that the little area they were in they thought was cleared was not. The dog sensed the terrorist, went after the terrorist, and gave up his life for the SEAL. Um, I chaired the Coast Guard two separate times. Uh, this is their tall training ship. Uh, they wanted to give it to me as sort of a little memento. So the top one is right off Atlantic City and the Coast Guard has to do routine training. But I thought it was a pretty incredible photo with Atlantic City as the backdrop and the, uh, the rescue team that drops into the water to save people. So this is pretty interesting. I was a freshman member of Congress and we got a call from Philadelphia Magazine to go to a photo shoot in Philadelphia. I was very leery because they would not tell me what it was about. And Republicans were under pretty big attack at that point. I thought this was gonna be a hit piece. I wasn't gonna go. They kept calling and saying, no, it's a good thing, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. Go to this remote location and these people are there. So Joe Biden is a senator, myself, Kurt Weldon, Chaka Fatah, Jim Greenwood, Mike Castle, and again, uh, now vice president or former vice president. So I was pretty thrilled. It was the best of and the worst of the Delaware Valley. And I made the best of as a freshman. And when my daughter saw the Philadelphia Magazine issue, she decided that that would be a great Christmas present. So she got in touch with them and she got these for me as, uh, as a picture. Um, we all need photos that remind us of home, and these are family members. But I told you about the protective vest legislation, and this is legislation sponsored 
And then this particular reauthorization was signed by President Obama. The original one was by President Clinton, but this is a reminder. Uh, this is pretty special. For four years, I sat next to Mike Pompeo, Mike Pompeo on the House Intelligence Committee. And as he became CIA director, this was from when he was CIA director and he sent me a little note. So this is my stay grounded wall. And as I mentioned, uh, you never want to forget your roots. You never want to forget where home is. And for me, uh, my father's father brought his family to this country when my dad was six years old in 1910. They were farmers, and it took my dad a while to convince his father that the strawberries they were growing, that they should take directly to the market. When he did convince him, this is my dad with the first used truck, with the first load of strawberries that was going into Atlantic City, to one of the first class hotels. Um, my mother's mother and father and my mom, who made it to a month shy of 103, uh, my father's mother and father, and again my mother's mother and father. And my dad did run for the New Jersey Assembly. Uh, he came up, I think, uh, about 80 votes short, but it's a little reminder that he was willing to put his name on the line. And then, as I've said, uh, Tina and I are really big on our dogs. Uh, Luca, that we had for 15 years, and Lola, who moved on. Uh, and the current two, what we call the Putis, uh, Lex and Lucia, uh, who are really with us just about everywhere we go. So picture of my mom, picture of my wife, and you've got the feel of the office.